Well, Hellions, we had to start the vlog out somehow, so I'm off to get parts. I'm working. I'm trying to get myself into a better mood than I was yesterday. Um, you know, one thing about losing the cell phone and all of your contacts is there's a lot of contacts in your phone that you just like have in there and you don't need anymore. Numbers have changed or whatever. So this was a great way to start fresh. So all the contacts I'm getting are recent good contacts. So here we go. On with the day. Today is going to be a day of COC. Woo! I didn't hear a woo! No woos. No woos? I was expecting a woo! No woos. <laughs> you have dog, but no woos. <laughs> Buffy's like, woo! Okay, so anyway, uh, today, yeah, uh, we're gonna finish up and, and catch up on COC. Meanwhile, I'm gonna have a little bit of coffee, which I put in there for too long, considering the amount of coffee that's in there. Look what Angie found in the garden. Itty bitty, itty little corn things. Ears of corn, very small. And we have, we, actually, we used three. We used three of the eggs today. We have almost a dozen eggs now. We had almost a dozen eggs. We had a unbaker's dozen. Ten. <laughs> I'd be a cheapskate's dozen. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's what's going on. Afternoon update. Coffee. It's what's for lunch. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask if you're ready, because Angie's fixing dinner. We're gonna let her fix dinner, but we're gonna do COC. So it's two birds, one stone. Do COC for like the last five nights, and uh, she can be fixing dinner. And then while dinner's still happening or whatever, I can go in and edit this one take video. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. And then I can eat dinner and relax for the rest of the night. Okay then. Okay then? Okay. Okay, so uh, it finally happened, this vlog right here. That's when we're gonna start off with. Not reading everybody's comment, but I have already gone and selected everybody's comment. Not everybody's, all the comments that we're gonna read. Okay, so it finally happened. BJ Miller, first, the kitchen is starting to look like a kitchen. Looking fantastic and I can't wait to see the end result of your fruits of your labor. Have a great one, everyone. I know, I'm happy. She's happy. And when she's happy, I'm really happy. <laughs> Um, Halloween Radio Net, almost happy Halloween, Angie and Troy, are you already listening to Halloween music and what's your favorite Halloween song? Uh, yes, I am. My, my actual Halloween, I mean Thriller, that's my personal favorite. Do you have a favorite? No. No. I do not. No and favorites. I don't really, um, I can't say that I really make a habit of listening to like Halloween tunes. Till I came here. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of them, so I mean. I mean, we kind of we'll do Spotify playlists here and there, but I don't I don't have like a song that I have to hear every Halloween. Right. Oh, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. That's a good one. Yeah. Monster by Skillet. That's another one that I like. Uh, John John nine one one one. You said uh, should have got the GoPro Hero nine. Um, you know, actually, this one here is just fine. And you had actually looked on some stuff for the yeah, 9, right? Yeah, there was some issues with the 9, and there were some things about the 9 that um, didn't really didn't really sell us on the price point. Yeah. And the 8 is improved from the 7. I think he had mentioned that it was the same, but it's definitely not. It's not, because even some people have, have said about it. But uh, it's great for what we need. Bren, that was actually really cool to see the egg. Hopefully the next one you can fry up and eat. Sorry, don't yawn. <laughs> um, well, yeah. Such a stinker. <laughs> uh, we, we had eggs for uh, lunch this afternoon, yeah. and she made an omelet. So that was great. Halloween fur at 11 minutes, 13 seconds, when Buffy and Coda started barking, my dog started barking. I think they got excited when they thought more dogs were visiting. Hmm. We should, that'd be funny. If we set up like a doggy play date with other dogs. I'm not sure that would work though. Well, it wouldn't hurt our dogs, I don't think. No. We don't know Maybe any other dogs. Maybe a virtual play date. 
I guess that would be like the everyday videos, just dogs barking and other dogs going, ooh, there's another dog. Uh, Fran Royer, uh, there's a small parcel that went out Tuesday for you guys. It's not a, uh, it is not a good day. I was up all night in bad pain in both my legs. Change in the weather kills me. Plus, I think I ate something that I should not have. Oh, Rhubarb. Just not good for anyone with uh, rheumatoid or RA. Rheumatoid arthritis? Thank you. Wow, she, really? She said. I didn't know that. Um, I will check the PO box. Uh, speaking of that, um, I'll be sending out some Halloween cards uh, that Angie and I are Bye. responding. Bye! Are uh, responding to you guys uh, if you guys have sent us something for Halloween. So I'll check the PO box here in uh, the next couple days. Uh, Van Nile NSX. Lowe's sells inexpensive white round stickers that cover screw heads for inside cabinets if you choose to yes. put a screw in the bottom of the cabinets. Um, yeah. So does Ikea. <laughs> I wonder, or does... does things. Oh, Ikea has actual plugs. Yeah. Okay. But they also have ones that go in, in all of these. Right. After you're done. Figure out where your shelves want to go. Um... Joseph Blau, nice hidden gesture there, Troy. Thank you. I hit it with, with uh, the, the phone thing, or whatever I was holding at the time. Carrie Ann Olsen, uh, guys are not toys. It stuck to me. <laughs> That's because you have a magnetic personality. Oh my god. Oh, what? Carrie Ann Olsen, we never had a problem with our chickens eating the eggs. You should up their calcium intake. Uh, we did, and so far we haven't had a problem either. They, they, um, they have. I bought them extra calcium, but. When they have their first eggs, sometimes there's an issue with that because their body is sort of kind of getting into the motions. And um, every egg since then has had a very nice heart. In fact, the shells on our eggs are harder than the ones that we've been buying at the store. So. Really? Oh, okay. Excellent. There's nothing wrong with those, but I did buy extra oyster, crust, oyster crust, crushed oyster shell <laughs> Say that to put fast. into their um, pen. Monica Bredesen, ha, I like that thumbs up you did, Troy. I think the new GoPro has a sharper image. Excellent. And okay, so we're done with that one. I'm gonna exit out and exit out and go to here and go to here. And the next one is Ikea Haunted House. I'm gonna put it on pause, go here, figure out comments. See, this is a part that I would normally edit out so that you guys aren't waiting for me. Um, let's see, Emerald Gypsy Heart, uh, first egg, whoop whoop, so who gets the honors of eating the first bite? Neither one of us. Buffy and Coda, actually Coda got most of it. And they loved it. Um, you also ask if the rails help with keeping uh, the cabinets in line better. Kia uses a rail system, although it's not necessary, but yes, absolutely. It makes things, once you get that rail on, which isn't really difficult to do, once you get it on, it makes hanging the cabinets so simple. Um, let's see. Daylight savings time switches on November 1st. Was hoping more states would do away with the time switch. You and me. You know, they both. keep everybody Every year talking about it, but no one actually does anything about it. Yeah. She said does anything about it because pregnant year. Sorry. That's okay. Sorry. There you go. I will talk loud for you. <laughs> Aloha Lara. Hooray for a good egg. Um, I loved your Benny Hill time lapse moment. LOL. Man, I wish we had an Ikea here. We have to drive to Atlanta if we want to go. Matt has never been in one. Well, Troy was in the same boat last year. That's right. And it seems weird to me because where I'm from, there are a couple of Ikeas within... Keep going. A couple of Ikea's. Driving with distance, like less, probably the same or less than what we drive to get to the one that we go to here. It's, um, it seems weird to me to not have one nearby when we had two. Yeah, it, it's weird for me to have any kind of store that we need to go and travel to. But it's always fun when we go there. Mm -hmm. uh, Scare Hollow, Lizzie says stuff like that all the time. I'm so proud. And he's talking about what Phoenix was saying because this is the vlog. What did he say? Um, yeah, he was saying some off the wall stuff. Uh, Francis Royer, uh, Troy, did you get the email I sent you? And if so, did you show Angie? Um, I did get the email that you sent me. Um, sorry that I didn't respond to you, but I, we did get it. Thank you. 
Uh, Adam Parks, the kitchen is coming along, coming along nicely with all the cabinets. Jay Bernard III, this morning I voted early and dropped off my ballot at election office in downtown Pueblo. Um, as a matter of fact, our, well not hers, my ballot will be going out tomorrow. I'm all done with it. Uh, Rachel Beckingham, uh, check for eggs later in the day. Where I live, they like to lay in the afternoon also. And she replied to you and she said, yep, we check again later. Um, We've got we've got the chickens on video surveillance. We do. And she she watches them in the morning. But so far it's been about what time? Um, between eight and nine thirty. The first morning that I was watching them, there was a, a seven. Or no, it was eight twelve or eight fourteen or something like that. But so, there's been a lot of like checking out the nest and talking about the nest and they all come in and kind of decide who's going to go first and then by the time they actually get to laying it's like an hour has gone by. Wow, really? Wow, and this is stuff that happens while I'm sleeping. Yes. Aloha Lara, Phoenix was raised by you, surrounding or surrounded by haunting and Halloween and you're surprised he says stuff like that? <laughs> I'm so proud of the chickens and I love their soft little clucks. Their soft I little like clucks. I like the soft are... little ones. Yeah. The don't, other ones. Woo. Don't like the loud ones. <laughs> She's so good. Uh, Judy Hart, we just uh, took our completed ballot to the ballot box. The kitchen's beginning to rock, and you've got eggs. Emerald Gypsy Hart, it's extremely blowy. Makes me chuckle. Way to go, Runty. I take it Anne hasn't had any more health issues. No. Nope. Is Nancy still mean? <laughs> yep. Well, she's not super mean. We were just talking about that tonight. Yeah, she, not as mean as she used to be. She's kind of like a hall monitor. <laughs> she, that reminds me of Spongebob. Hall monitor! She's all like too. upset if the other chickens are doing anything a little bit crazy. She thinks that everybody needs to behave themselves. She's a stickler for the rules. Yeah. Ralph and Jason, I uh, knew I forgot to comment about something. The new camera. Notice straight off how much more rich and vibrant the new camera was. I like it. And yes, vote. Okay. You can talk about something if you would like as I find my next one. Where am I? Um, oh, fun at Spooner Farms. Angie answered most of those comments. I went and answered the rest of them. So now we are at Pumpkinhead Sunday. Oh my goodness, there are so many comments. You guys rock. I'm. This is going to be really long, but that's okay. We don't have anything for today, right? I guess I'm talking to myself. Oh, sorry. Yes, yes, I'm right. I don't. I haven't looked at the comments, so I wouldn't know. Okay. Halloween fur. When Phoenix was posing in the graveyard, that reminded me of my niece. She loves to do that in my graveyard scene. Monica Bredesen, Phoenix posing out front with the skeletons. Um, you know, it was so cool that he went out there on his own accord. Oh, and, and, uh, the camera that Todd had got him, unfortunately, has broken. But, um, I, we have decided to give him the old GoPro. The GoPro, like, three or four, or whatever it was. So, Phoenix has a new-to-him old camera waiting for him, and I think that he's going to be pretty surprised and happy about it. Uh, Bren, good old-fashioned wholesome family vlog. This was so awesome to watch. Troy's about to have a cow over them chicken eggs. Damn, that felt like a Troy joke. I apologize to everyone. <laughs> the Grinch, kitchen coming along. Yard is looking spooktacular. Dang, Troy, you've so many chicks chasing after you, and one beautiful pumpkin head, one caught you, and we're so proud of it. <laughs> Okay, wow, this is actually a multi-comment by Ben Massey. Several comments, or several vlogs, one comment. Uh, hey, hey, <laughs> cut up on the vlogs, been busy around the house and getting things together on the new truck. Happy birthday to your mom, Troy. Happy Thanksgiving, Angie. Thank that you. Cricut logo was an awesome gift. Congrats on the kitchen and cabinet progress. Yay for rain. Awesome pumpkin carvings and so happy Phoenix was there to carve and vlog. The new Hero 8 has a clearer image and agree, more vibrant colors. Ew, gross, she just made me bleed. Turn up. Congrats on the eggs, yay. And I didn't know about defending the walls on carving pumpkins and enjoy the last 10 days of October. Wow, that's a comment. And, but wait, there's more. Uh, he says, also I have a new Amazon Smart TV in the truck so I can't watch vlogs in the full screen, but 
or I can watch vlogs in full screen, but can't comment on their self to use my phone app to do so. Well, thank you for taking the time to use your phone app to do so. I appreciate it. And, um, oh my gosh. Oh, are we caught up? I had to get a new one, yesterday's vlog. Oh my gosh, and we're only at 14 minutes and 32 seconds for COC. There's gonna be a little bit of editing, 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 editing in the beginning. But this is the last vlog, and then we'll be done for a while. <laughs> Hold on, have to arrange comments. News first. I don't know why I do this. OCD. BJ Miller first! Have a great day, everyone. Take care. Be kind to everyone with this sickness out there. Monica Bredesen. Yes, this technology is good and bad, so needed, but not really. You know, if I didn't have a cell phone, I can't imagine how I would run my business. Like if it was back in the 80s. That would be so hard. You'd be going home, checking messages, getting back to people, mm -hmm. trying to call them, hoping they're at home next to the phone. Things have definitely changed. A lot of changes for the better, though. But mm -hmm. is there being too connected? Hmm. That depends on your... Um, Definition of too connected? It depends on your age. Oh, that's true, too. Because if you grew up with it, that's all you know. Then, then, it's then it's totally fine, and it would feel weird to not be that connected. True. Nicole Flynn, good afternoon, Troy, Angie, and fellow Hellions. I always back up my contacts on the cloud, and I also write them down in a notebook. That's not a bad idea for the important ones. Um, it was actually because I still have haunt had haunt contacts from the first time I did the haunted house. And I had wanted to go through and weed out, but you start going through and weeding out contacts. It's like, oh, should I keep this person? Should I not? And it's like, you know something? My phone made the decision for me. So not entirely a horrible thing. So you had, your phone died and you didn't really have the option no. of doing any of that except what you, and he does have some stuff backed up on Google. Yes. So it's not like he lost all his pictures or anything like that, but... I still have mine and it works just fine. Oh yeah, she had to get a new phone because of the it's whole thing. It's just Canadian because I'm getting one that's in the States. Which and it's our plan, so it's cheaper. But um, I opted not to sync a lot of it because I, I kind of want to get rid of a bunch of stuff. So this kind of forces you to and, and house clean. Yes, and this will kind of answer uh, Todd's comment that's coming up here, but we'll just answer it now. Um, as far as backing stuff up and the time it takes to repopulate your phone, we're talking about also all the apps, like reinstalling all the apps and tailoring the phone to yeah. ringtones and it the way you want it. All the all the settings and everything on it, the, the Actually, keyboard, the speech to text. I'm happy with, with that. I have a Pixel. My old phone is a Pixel Three um, XL. Our new phones are Samsung Galaxy Note 20 5Gs. So I find these to be full of bloatware and you can't change stuff in them, whereas the Pixel is pretty much raw Android and you can change everything. Everything. Yeah. So there's been lots of things that I'm like, I can't, why can't I, where's the setting for? I'm, she referred I'm getting to this there. as an Apple. It's like the Apple of the Androids. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, Speechless says, insert the old SIM card into the new phone. If you save them to Google, you should be able to get everything back. I haven't tried that. I still have the old SIM card, I think. Uh, it's, that will, it's totally a different... Um... Well, she said the 4G and the 5G, so it may not work. I'm not sure I want to mess with the phone. No, it, I think it's I'll leave it well good. enough alone. It won't work. Thanks for the comment, though. Um, and then Trip27's comment. Thank you, Todd. Uh, Joseph Blau. Uh, survival, uh, survive day one of dialysis was only two hours. Thursday will increase to three. Saturday will be four, working up gradually. So far, so good. Good to hear that. And final comment of the night, and we've already answered it. K-Bear Fuzzy Ears asked, uh, what kind of phone did, did we get? So that's it, guys. Holy cow, 18 minutes and 40 seconds. There it is. And that's, that's like the whole vlog, I guess, isn't it? That's almost the whole vlog, yeah. Okay, thanks for Sorry. watching. Happy <laughs> hunting. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.